So we are here live via Skype with Joanna Davinovich, who is also known as Cup of Joe. How are you doing, Joanna? Doing great. How are you? I'm doing great as well. And uh, you've been like a super long time contributor to Eat, Sleep, Draw. And what's interesting is you're one of the um, contributors to Eat, Sleep, Draw that may or may not have a Tumblr account. Oh, no, is, I don't. Yeah, so you're like one of the longest running people that submit art that just link to their blog spot or their website and don't really care about what's, you know, Tumblr followers and stuff like that, which is really I'm, interesting because people I'm love just, your work. I'm just kind of behind on all of the social <laughs> network, Flickr, everything. I mean, I feel like Facebook should be enough. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's, that's, you know, it's interesting because like, uh, People love your work. You have a very, uh, I'm going to say, easy-to-view style, <laughs> where it's just... Uh, like easy listening? <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, it's like uh, slow jams, but light, you know? It's, well, that's, uh, that's fine. I mean, that's awesome. I'm glad that, that I've never thought of my work that way before, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, it's, it's easy on the eyes, um, and uh, it's a very familiar style and very... Uh, um, I don't know, graphic, like, I feel like it should be on t-shirts for, like, little kids running around in the park or something like that. So, um, where, where are you located, by the way? I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, right downtown. Georgia. And, uh, how long have you been there, and where did you grow up? And uh, my parents, they, they are immigrants from Ukraine. And when they came to this country, they kind of floated around um, city to city for a while. I was born in Orange Park, Florida. And uh, then when I was 10, we moved here and, you know, went to college and came back because there was opportunity in this city to uh, pursue my career. And, you know, I feel like it's kind of a higher standard of living than, say, if I was in New York or Los Angeles and I like having space. I mean, not not against anything like that, but I kind of like being able to spread out. <laughs> totally. I mean, I wish my apartment was nine times bigger. <laughs> um, sorry. It's it's, just, hey, I, it's okay. I, I mean, uh, so how has your, your environment influenced your work? Um, well, that's kind of tough to say. My world is kind of insular. I, I mean, everything that really inspires me is usually like a TV show or a movie that was made at least 60 years ago. So it's nothing, current stuff doesn't normally, um, and my environment doesn't really influence me all that much in, in any way that I can see. I mean, I mean, obviously something's got to be filtering in, but I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what it might be. That's fine. And yeah. uh, do you have any formal training in art? Yes, I went to the Savannah College of Art and Design and got a BFA in animation. Cool. And what's your favorite medium to work in? Like, are you just always in your sketchbook, or do you have, like, a drawing table, or do you do digital? Like, what's your favorite thing to do? I, I'm, since I was, I wasn't really trained in illustration, um, it, I mean, animation is, is what I do, um, but, I mean, I want to be a good illustrator, so I, I just kind of, like, try anything I can get my grubby hands on. And that's, like, I've got watercolors and markers, and I try, Photoshop is great for doing a lot of color tests, and I love Alias Sketchbook. But um, I'm really happiest when I just have a coal erase and some blank sheets, because I kind of feel like the more I work on a drawing, the worse it gets. Like, it's in its best state when it's just, like, pfft, done. <laughs> and everything beyond that is just working it too hard. So, uh, I'm going to throw you off a little bit. I asked earlier today on Eat, Sleep, Draw if uh, any of, you know, the Eat, Sleep, Draw community had any questions. And we got a few here that I'm going to throw at you unannounced. Oh, no, I don't have notes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, user, um, the username from this person is... Guess I Look Pretty Devo asked, <laughs> what types of subject do you find really hard to draw? Everyone has something that they just can't seem to ever draw properly. What's yours? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like uh, I don't know. Like I, I know. As, um, I have trouble with, uh, like, more 
Uh, definitely backgrounds. I'm, I, I just, I'm not good with environments. I, I, I should, you know, work on that more. And hopefully with the, the cartoon I'm working on, it's forcing me to do backgrounds. So I'm hoping through the, like not giving myself a choice, I'll get better at it. Uh, usually more technical, structural things, anything that, that doesn't have um, like a personality of its own. Like effects animation is, is very difficult for me because it's not, it's not a, a personality. It's, you know, wind, fire. I mean, ideally it should have a personality, but I'm just not at that level where I can in, uh, imbue it with personality. Um, what else aren't I good at? I could go on forever. <laughs> well, that, that's, that's why I have a lot of other questions for you. Okay. Um, so uh, you're really into animation. Uh, how has um, animation uh, influenced the way you approach a, a piece that you're, that you're drawing? Because I know that I know that I studied animation, and uh, I just draw a lot faster than other people. So what about you? Well, that definitely is an advantage. Uh, I have found that I tend to be a bit quicker um, than um, than others, I guess. Because uh, with animation, you really don't have a choice. You gotta, you know, get it done. Um, but I feel like the further away I get from approaching an illustration, the way I approach animation, the worse that illustration is. Mm -hmm. So if, uh, like, the way I approach animation is that with this scene, I need to get this. Uh, this emotion out at this time and just 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 do it so I just start really rough and and it's and it's gross and yucky looking in the beginning but after a while it, it becomes nicer and if I do that with just a, uh, just a flat drawing just illustration just a one-off type thing then that's usually a successful more successful drawing than usual whereas if I approach an illustration saying I want to draw a pretty picture it never turns out pretty <laughs> so it it just like finds itself lending like it's oh all of a sudden oh it's pretty right <laughs> yeah it's I mean I look at other other uh, artists that I admire and what what really what I want to attain is just the this they, they seem to have so much line and color confidence where the color and the line and everything that they choose is the right thing for that illustration and that's what makes it successful and I just um, I don't think I've gotten to that point yet so I need to I, that's something I need to to work on and if, uh, approaching an illustration the way I approach animation would probably be a good way to for me to work uh, this is self-discovery here I'm learning a lot about myself <laughs> well that's why we do these uh, so <laughs> you, you mentioned you know um, you know other artists what are some of your favorite artists Aha. or who are they this my notes, because I have a million. <laughs> uh, in general, I like a lot of like most vintage pinup art, just from the like 30s through the early 60s. Just the personality of all those girls. It's so innocent and fun, and just happy. It's like the happiest art you'll ever see ever, and that's what I really respond to. Um, and instead of uh, okay, there's my list. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> For uh, like classic, uh, i.e. dead artists, I like Chuck Jones and Tex Avery and Ward Kimball and Mary, Mary Blair. And just there's so much to love about just every, everything that, that was done in the like 30s to late 50s period. I mean, that's the, the style that just I respond to because there's just this this life to it that seemed to get lost when um, I hate to say it when when animation became um, you know a television thing where it became very very limited like and I mean I love so many of the designs from Hanna Barbera cartoons I just I could look at those model sheets all day but the TV shows really lack that kind of just the, the vibrancy that I love in, uh, you know, classic stuff where you they had the, the budget and the time to do full animation. And 